Hi, it's Gene Perry. It's time for another tutorial from Century Farm Equestrian Center. You know, over the years, I've done a lot of uh, trail riding in the mountains with various uh, groups of kids and things. And one thing that we've learned is in getting ready to go to the mountains and do our trail riding up there, uh, the question's always asked, well, do we saddle here or do we wait till we get up on the uh, trail? Now, I'm sure I'll get a lot of phone calls on this one because uh, I always saddle my horses here and travel with them saddled in the trailer. Now, the insurance companies tell me that that's the number one place for incidents and accidents is at trailheads while people are out trying to fuss with their horses and get saddles on them, especially if there's a group of you. You all got your horses tethered up alongside the trailer and there's not much room and you're trying to get saddles on and the horses are stepping around and what have you. It's a good place to get banged into and bumped with. So we found, and I literally have taken thousands of kids on the trail rides, and we found the safest, the most efficient and effective way to arrive at a trailhead is with those horses already saddled. Now, I want you to also remember that when you're taking a horse out, I generally, my horses turn around and I lead them out front ways. Uh, it's quicker and they move out really uh, quickly on that and I don't uh, spend uh, 10 minutes with them tap dancing looking for the edge of that trailer. So my kids will always line up on the left hand side of the trailer. I go in, untie them, and incidentally, when we do travel with the horses, we use a quick release knot that I can go in, reach up, and give one yank and that comes right out because those horses are nervous, they're wanting to come out, and you need to move quick. Bring them right on out, hand the lead rope down to the kid and the person receiving has got to remember horses don't have real good depth perception and some of them can get a little nervous if they haven't traveled very much about jumping out of that trailer we don't have ramps on ours ours are step ups or step downs depending which way you're talking so you get to receive that horse and make sure you got it so it doesn't jump on you when it jumps down you go on over and find a, a, the lead person out. My uh, one trailer is a six horse trailer. First person out, their job is to move forward and then stop. It makes room for the next horse to come out and when I untie it and it turns around, it's, oh my gosh, the other guy's gone. Where's he at? Oh, he's right there and he calms down. Then you come to have him jump out there, not so nervous and excited because the other horse is out of sight. But once that horse jumps out, the second one, the first rider, has got their horse and, and got them in a lead and he's been looking this whole time as to where we can line up because we want to do everything at the trailhead as much like we do at the barn as possible. So we take all those six horses or if we got the other trailer maybe we've got ten horses and uh, we line them up just like we do at the barn so they get some reassurance and some uh, comfort for the fact that they're standing in line like they do at the barn. You have to remember Horses can smell things. You have no dream. Has it been there before or is anywhere around? Horses can smell it. They can hear a lot better than we can. And there's things that are gonna make them nervous. So you put them in line, that's like they're used to. Go on then. And we generally don't travel with the uh, bridles hanging on the saddle horns like we do here at the barn. We have those in the truck. We hand those out. They go ahead, bridle up, and then get up and get on. You're, the quicker you can get on your horse, the safer you are, especially on those trails, okay? So once you get them uh, lined up and squared away, then uh, you're in good shape. And if you're the leader of the party, always remember, put your horse in first so it comes out last. That way everybody else is out, and if there's any kind of problem, you can hop out and go sort it out, and your horse is still secure in there. But that's just a little tip from an old timer on how you travel with horses. Bless your heart. And we're talking about a, a trail like here within the Lamette Valley. Our, uh, our mountains and our trails are only about an hour and a half, maybe two hours away. So it's not much of a, a travel. If you're talking about going cross country, now that's a different kettle of fish where they're gonna be in there for six or eight hours or whatever, four hours, then I might reconsider. But by and large, uh, if it's a, a close in trail ride, always saddle up at the barn and uh, don't forget your bridle.
All right. Bless your heart. We'll talk to you next week. Have a safe week riding horses. Bye-bye.